from GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. This is the NFL on EA Sports. It is still summer in the Midwest and a pleasant summer day as we are set for football at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's Michael Badgley now to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes, and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. And Mahomes going to put it up right away. And incomplete on the deep ball. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw, it's Mahomes. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Now here's Mahomes. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? Yeah, they should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not cause, easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 
The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block, or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. On second down, here's Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll get this down to the 30-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that's going to bring up second down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And he'll be out of bounds. That's good for 28 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Pacheco pushing his way into the end zone. Touchdown. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. That time, a nine-play drive. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the first overall selection of the 2016 draft from Cal. It's Jared Goff. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there in every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. And that's to Amon Ra St. Brown. And he's going to be taken to the ground right there at the 35-yard line. 
Well, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Golf. He'll go right back to St. Brown. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, he's one of the top receivers in the game, Charles, so no surprise here on the opening drive. They want to get him involved, and he has catches on back-to-back -back plays. And, Brandon, I look at it from the defense's perspective. You know he's one of the top receivers in the game. You've got to find ways to slow him down because if he gets into high gear, he's going to shred you all game long. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it's gone. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? So the completion results there in nine yards, and they'll have a second and one forthcoming. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. A shotgun snap for Goff. Quick hitter here, it's complete. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and goal from inside the five. Gibbs going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Montgomery. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. This defense not budging. Back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. How about that stand defensively? The sticks were moving against them. First down after first down was being piled up. They had driven all the way down the field, and then they ran into a wall on third and goal. Nice job regrouping. Very impressive. Here's Michael Badgley ready for the field goal try. From the left hash, should be a fairly easy one here. 
Badgley's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. After the made field goal, Badgley back out there for the kickoff. This fielded right at the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Now Mahomes. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. They bring a man off the corner that time, and he gets home for a loss of six. So a nice bounce back there defensively after giving up the big play. Yeah, you can either get down on yourself or you can get motivated. And that time, they dropped him for a loss. So I would say that they got motivated and made the play. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Throwing now is Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. So the completion results there in nine yards. Third and seven now. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Mahomes going to throw. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Credit that sack to Marcus Davenport. Brandon never ceases to amaze me just how fast these defensive ends are in the game nowadays. Part of that is what we've seen in college football, where they've gotten smaller and faster on the defensive side of the ball. But they brought that to the NFL because it is hard for an offensive lineman to keep them away from the quarterback. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar, and this will stay a four-point game. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals. 
as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. He's airing it out for Williams. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Out of the gun. Gone. He's airing it out for Williams. And this is caught inside the five. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. A big play there for Detroit. And even 50 yards. When he launched that football, I'm guessing he was thinking end zone, but he'll take it. Now they're knocking on the door. I like the way you can read his thoughts. Think of it from the opposite side of the ball. They thought they had a chance to make a play and knock it away. Didn't get it done. Can they reset now and hold them to a field goal? After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll run with Montgomery. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Good work there, holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Second and goal from the one. They try again with Montgomery, and this time he is in. Yes. David Montgomery punching it in from a yard away, and the Lions have taken the lead. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. In motion left goes Watson. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep as he'll go instead with Pacheco. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. 
I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw here complete to Kelsey. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, it's Pacheco. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Here's the Chiefs punter now. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And this will be down by a member of the kicking team just outside of the 30-yard line. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Off play action. Here's Goff. It's complete to Williams. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory right at the 40. And meanwhile, Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Play action. It's golf. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 22-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Second down and six now. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. 
And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Now a first down throw, gone. That's complete, right around the eight. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Now a play fake, and it's gone. to him as he's taken down. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack, but he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Third and goal, and still a long way from the end zone. You can't block me. You can't block me. Go the mic. Now gone. St. Brown making the catch on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. A gain of five, but not enough, leads to a fourth and goal. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Here's Michael Badgley ready for the field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Badgley able to knock this one through. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the made field goal, Badgley back out there for the kickoff. On the return, it's Washington. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 24. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. This will be caught by Brown. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season, they got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. So the completion good for seven there. At its second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Yellow. 
from the 41. Here's second and three. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He'll drop this off to Pacheco. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. I'll tell you what, these last couple of drives, much better from a defensive perspective. They gave up a touchdown on the opening drive, and then after forcing a punt on their last possession, it looks like they're going to get the football back again. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. It's just a 32-yard punt with no return. And the Lions will take over. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. And yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that, got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Goff now looking to throw. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he'll be dropped at the 36. It's a good gain of 18 on a play that originated back at the 18. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open puts it right on him and they pick up a first down so from the 36 now first and 10 Gibbs straight ahead and he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Here's gone. Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. And St. Brown going to have the Lions first down as he'll get this up to midfield. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. From the 50, it's Goff. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 25 yards that time. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Uh, 
Now Goff on first down. Open man is Raymond. He's got it. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 11 yards for number 11. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, Goff. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. On that snap, he's the hero of his defense after the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. To throw is Goff. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's Michael Badgley ready for the field goal try. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Badgley able to punch this one through. And now it's a two-score game at 9, 16-7. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. After the made field goal, Badgley back out there for the kickoff. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there, but they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. On first down, Mahomes, short throw, hauled in by Kelsey. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second and six, just inside the 30. Mahomes now to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the... Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts 
as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. So we come upon halftime with nine points separating these two teams. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. In that first half, it was David Montgomery who proved to be tough to stop. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. And he won't quite make it to the 25. No pain, no gain. Amon Ross St. Brown and the rest of the Detroit Lions getting set for another series here. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start things off with a give to Gibbs. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. From the 33, here's second and a yard. They'll fake the give. Now gone. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Get ready. Get ready. And that ball popped free. We could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Goff now to throw. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Oh, I thought he had that one. And that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Dances by him. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. 
We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain, second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now is second and ten. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. Now Mahomes. Got a man. It's Brown. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now here's Mahomes. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. You, you, you. You, you, you. He's Go off on first down. Locating St. Brown for another catch. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's second and seven. Goff now looks to throw. Open man right side is St. Brown. And St. Brown going to have the Lions first down as he's going to get this down to the 45-yard line. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held him to no gain. Here's second and ten. You got four. You got four. Golf. It's caught on the right side. Williams. 
And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 32-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Goff going to get this to Gibbs. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Here's Goff. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Touchdown! Sam Laporta, a seven-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me, very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me, and they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Dan Campbell makes the call. His guys will go for two here. Goff looking to throw. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Montrell Washington on the return from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 26. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here's Pacheco once again. Broken tackle. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle 
and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A big play that time on the catch and run. 39 yards. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one, but he made his presence felt there. A big pickup on third down. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Open man is the tight end, Noah Gray. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more on that one and another first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Two yards to go, second down. Throwing now is Mahomes. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Aiden Hutchinson picks up his second sack of the afternoon. That's his second sack of the game, and the best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Mahomes going to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. They'll wind up losing three here on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. The whole idea of the screen pass is to fool the defense in a big way and create a big play. They weren't fooled. Not <laughs> one second, not one bit. How about them figuring it out, diagnosing it, and spilling it for lost yardage? So on fourth down, Mahomes off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs' field goal. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And they're hanging around here as the lead's down to 12. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The veteran Jared Goff back out with his Lions offense. Last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six of six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. Drive starts with a run from Gibbs, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. 
Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Second down, and they go back to Gibbs. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Throwing on third, Golf. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around eight to ten yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Ball on the 39, here's second down and five. A shotgun snap for Goff. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. <laughs> Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 47. Throwing again is golf. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free and it's second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Second and 10. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Back to throw, Goff. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamison Williams, 47 yards. And the Lions have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And that one makes this a 19-point game. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was Jamison Williams wrapping things up with a touchdown.
Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Washington now brings this out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. And that often runs you into a penalty. So the hold on special teams backs him up all the way inside the 15 to start. Mahomes now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver, separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and ten. Being chased out left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. A gain of three, second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. So from the 17, here's second and seven. Here's gone. Setting up the screen. This is Gibbs. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid gain. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. Now gone. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Lions are able to widen their advantage. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. 
it was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's It's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that will bump the lead up to 26. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this will be caught by Brown. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Rice. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards, the final tally. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. But we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. Back-to-back right, right. -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He finds his receiver, Watson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. So tug on the face mask, and that's going to cost him 15 yards. And sometimes it'll go unnoticed, but that one, pretty obvious for everyone to see. So the face mask moves him closer, and now first and goal. Working from the gun, Mahomes. A complete once again to Watson. Nice gain of eight that time, but it's second and goal. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that one or what? <laughs> they would gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. From the two now, second and goal. Let's put him on the buses. Let's put him on. Now it's Mahomes again. That is caught by Rice. Touchdown, Kansas City. 
two yards on the touchdown there. And the Chiefs are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D., and well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll make this a 19-point ball game. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. They juked him. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it they do actually recover the ball which is what we saw here I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number kind of like when the coaches tell us well when you score on special teams 93 percent <laughs> of the time you win the game I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical so here's a first and 10 at the 38 Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Well, they'll come up second and seven. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs' 29. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. The Lions on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage, the stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them. Use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. He'll get it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Here's second and five now from the 22. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 
48 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the fourth. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field. They can't slow them down. They're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. David Montgomery with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions are able to add on to that lead. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal. And then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call. But they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. Badgley on for the extra point. And that will bump the lead up to 26. That time, a six-play drive. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good, solid there again, just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that'll bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now second and three. They'll drop to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Looks like they're going to keep throwing till the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one, incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. And again, it's Mahomes. And this one is incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. 44, 44, Mike, Mike, Mike. 
Now Mahomes got to have this one. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down as they get it rather easily there. A gain of nine on fourth and three. now to throw and under the Lions pressure he's brought down the Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game so after the sack here second and 14 now back to throw. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And this win was impressive, Charles. And look, they were honest with us this week. They had this game circled on the calendar for quite a while, coming in and taking down the reigning Super Bowl champions. And you and I both know from experience that having the title reigning Super Bowl champs is a blessing, but a curse when the next season begins, right? Because everyone circles that game on their schedule. They can't wait to come in and play. And they often do things you don't even expect because they figure, what do we have to lose? We're playing the Super Bowl champs. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Kansas City, so long, everybody.